Yo guys, what's up? It is your boy Brzeiden Flexer, and welcome back to Mech Warrior 5. So in the last episode, we did a couple missions for our new contractor, the Free Rascala Republic or something like that. Um, we're gonna continue doing missions for them. We're gonna continue increasing our reputation with them, and we're just gonna yeah, we're just gonna do a couple more missions for them. Try and build up some more money. See if we can't pick up some new mechs or something like that. There's nothing really in here. These are just a couple story mode missions. If you guys want me to do that, just leave it down in the comments and I will. Uh, I already found us a contract for these guys. Uh, it's against the independents, so we can continue them because they are our sworn enemies after all. And then there's a mission for House Steiner we might do after. The Periphery Realms, we might help them out a little bit, but I'm not really sure. So let's just hop into it. Uh, now we don't have that many points to be using. And this is only a difficulty 54, so they're not going to have too many big mechs. So we'll take 26 salvage points, and the rest we'll put into the money just so we can build up... Actually, no, nah, it doesn't really matter what kind of mechs we get. We'll just put it all into mechs because we got 1.6 million from this anyways. Uh, now, the Charger mech is back. Uh, wherever is it? Wherever it is. I'm not sure where it is. There it is. So I have the Battle Axe equipped to it because it does dish out quite a bit of damage. Uh, Santiago, we're going to give you... Um, What can we give Santiago? We'll give her the Thunderbolt and we'll give Trimble... The Battle Master, and that's what we're going to rock with for this mission. Uh, can't take any other mechs. I don't have any other mechs small enough. I mean, I could give Trimble a smaller one. But we're just going to go through for a three-man team with this and save some of our other mechs for the mission for the other sets of missions that we got to do with this. Uh, without further ado, let's get readied up and let's head into the first mission. Well, immediately we're thrown into the fire as we're dealing with an invasion here. Uh, we have to defend our friendlies here. They have an Archer Mech Level 2. And he has a sword, so I gotta be careful because if he uses that sword on me, it's gonna dish out some major damage. And I mean, I've already dismantled his sword, which is absolutely perfect. There goes his head. I wouldn't mind capturing that one because he does have a long sword. We have 12 enemies to deal with, which isn't too bad. And they've got a drop ship coming in. Let's see what they're gonna drop. Hopefully nothing too insane. Nothing too crazy. We've got a Jaeger mech, which is absolutely weak. And we have a Hunchback mech coming in uh neither one of these guys have anything too crazy i don't think i really have to worry about trying to capture any of these mechs because i mean they don't really have anything of value and already the hunchback's done like as you guys can see the level one mechs aren't really of use to me anymore and really neither are some of the level twos because that jaeger mech dropped without me even getting close to them two mechs down already we got 10 enemies left I'm not really sure what they can throw at me to really stop me. Well, looks like I spoke a little too soon. They're throwing in an Assault Class mech at me. It's a Zeus mech, which I've never really captured one of these guys before. I don't think they're that powerful, but, uh, I mean, as you guys can see, the Charger dealt with them before he could even get close enough to me. My Lance is dealing with a Vindicator mech. Have they dealt with him yet? No, his body is damn near critical. Holy! All right, that... That fucking Thunderbolt does some serious damage with those missiles. And I mean, the Battle Master that Trimble is running is literally a missile boat version of it. It doesn't have all the lasers. Which it is pretty good, but I, I just preferably don't really like it. I prefer the one with the lasers. We got another dropship coming in some air support. Let's see what they're going to drop in now. Well, now it looks like they're a bit angry because they're throwing in a couple Warhammer mechs at me. But again, you guys can't do shit! Your body's already critical after one swing, and my missiles handled the rest of you. Come on! When are you guys gonna learn your lesson here? Oh, it looks like I hit his arm and his leg instead of his body, which is perfectly fine, because he's still in range, chopped off his other arm in a critical punch right to the midsection. Both Warhammers done in the span of 40 seconds. This Charger mech is unstoppable. So yeah, I go. Uh, I looked at some of the range with these. Apparently, the battle axe and the ch and the long sword have the exact same range, which is a little bit ridiculous in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I found that a little interesting. I'm gonna have my guys deal with the rest of these guys, and then we're gonna head to the evac zone and see what kind of salvage that is. It's just a couple level ones. These guys won't even last pissing time. Nice and easy mission. Not a whole lot of resistance after. Uh, I have to switch some things up because I realized my charger 
ran out of ammo at the very end of that mission for the uh, the SRM, so that was interesting. Anyways, 1 million C-Bills, 500 reputation, we're almost at expert level, which will be absolutely fantastic. Let's continue and see what we got. There's that Zeus mech, which is that assault mech. The archer with the long sword that I said I wanted. Hunchback and then the couple war hammers. Um, do I want the Zeus or do I want the archer mech? Because I have an ar Yeah, you know what? I already have an archer mech with a weapon, so I'm going to take the Zeus mech. Because I've never had one, so... Anything here really worth taking? No. Alright. We're going to continue... None of the mechs are super damaged. The char My charger's one leg is damaged. So I'm going to switch him out. And we're going to head into the me next mission already. Not going to bore you guys with anything. And let's see what else we got. Well, looks like I got a demolition contract. And I picked the perfect mech to absolutely wreck this base. My Battlemaster mech, which is a giant laser bolt. And I also have the PPC on standby to deal with any sort of little straggler mechs. Like this little runt right here. A little enforcer mech. That's cute. Say goodbye to your head. Not even a couple seconds can a level one mech last against my battle master mech. All right. Unless they throw something crazy against me, I say we just tear this base to absolute shreds and move on to the next mission. Let's absolutely wreck this place. I can't tell if this is resistance at this point or if this is just futile to try and distract me from dis not destroying the base. They're throwing a Centaurian at me, which I mean, he's, he's already dead. There's nothing these guys can do when I'm running a Battlemaster mech like this. Like, you're throwing, you're throwing a Panther mech at me. This, this isn't resistance. This is just poking a dinosaur with a stick at this point. Oh, maybe I spoke a little too soon. Looks like they've got a drop ship coming in. And this Panther's not going down. Go down, you son of a bitch. There we go. What's coming in on this drop ship now? Oh! What the? A cataphract mech? What the heck is this thing? I've never seen this mech before. This is so weird. I mean, I think he blows up the same as other mechs do. Yep! That's for damn sure. What's on him? He's got a couple lasers, he's got a ballistic weapon, and a couple missiles, so... He's really just a level 2 Centaurian that just gets blown up about as easy as another one. And there we go, base is demolished. So, I mean, there's a couple level 2 mechs up for grabs, which I really like. Hopefully we can just grab both of them. I doubt we'll have enough salvage points for that, but uh, let's head on to the evac point and see what kind of salvage we can get. Killed a bunch of pilots, demolished a base. Today was a good day. 1.7 million sea bills, another 500 reputation. We're eking ever closer to that level 10 expert reputation. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, we got one of those cataphract mechs. We got both of them here, actually. They're worth 33 each, so I can't get both of them, but I'll take one of them to try it out. I thought I had it up for a Centaurian, but I don't. Any sort of weapons here that could be any good. No. Okay, so we'll save our points for the next round. Battlemasters took no damage. This Thunderbolt took a little bit of damage, but nothing crazy. That's over two missions, so we don't even need to switch mechs out. We're just going to hop into the last mission, which I think is a beachfront mission, unfortunately. So let's just get this over and done with and see what kind of what kind of stuff they're going to throw at me. All right, I was right. It's a beachfront mission. So if you guys look, this map is absolutely massive. And there's so many things you have to do. I'll show, like, key points to them, but nothing too crazy. So pretty much, you got optional ones to destroy the satellite dishes so they can't call for reinforcements and to take out these mil uh, artillery batteries so that they're not firing on you every two seconds and you're having to avoid artillery fire. And then at the end, you have to capture a point and then wait as a final wave of enemies comes and tries to one last stand ditch effort to try and defeat you. So yeah, I'll show me destroying like the batteries and me destroying some of the satellite dishes and some of the defenses. Besides that, we're just going to motor through this mission. Coming up on the first satellite, I mean, I can literally see it from here. I don't know if I can destroy it from here, but all they have guarding this thing is a tank and once he pops back up then I'll be able to tell you oh mystery reveal drum roll da, 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 da. it is an urban mech which is literally the worst mech in the game that I just destroyed 
with one shot of my laser. So, I mean, if that's the best they can do, this ain't gonna last very long. First satellite done. Let's just, you know what? We're not even gonna bother destroying the last two. We're just gonna head right to the end, right to the zone, and start capturing that garrison. Well, it looks like the garrison is at least a little bit more covered. They got a Shadowhawk mech, and they had a level, they had just a light mech guarding it. I'm assuming it's just an urban mech. I couldn't really get a look at it, but I mean, this Shadowhawk won't last very long. There goes the air support. Where the, where are you trying to go? Yeah, like they've got a Javelin mech guarding it. They do realize I'm running assault mechs, right? Like, what are you guys exactly expecting? Oh, he's got a sword. Good Lord, I just noticed that. Kill that bastard fast. Oh, it's a claw. Okay, well, I mean, if it's a tomato tomato, I don't want him to freaking get anywhere near me with that thing. Why is his head not blown up yet? Seriously? I'm hitting his head with lasers and it's still not blown up. Die, you son of a bitch. Uh-oh, I'm just about overheated. That's not good. Oh, just punch him. He's still not down. This is the toughest Shadowhawk ever made, apparently. There we go. Jesus. And a Phoenix Hawk mech. He's got a hatchet, so again... I can't get too close to that bastard. There goes his head. All right, now this is the boring part. Now I just got to destroy a bunch of tanks and stuff. They're going to throw a bunch of small enemies at me. I got to capture the zone. And at the very end, they're going to throw a bunch of enemies at me as a last-ditch effort. So we're just going to fast-forward to when they throw the enemies at me. Point's getting captured, but we got a couple of enemy mechs dropping in. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to throw at me at this rate. There goes that dropship. And we've got artillery coming in. So yeah, that's what the artillery markers look like. Really? You're throwing a commando mech and a Vulcan mech at me. Is this the start of the game or something? Like, what are you guys going to try and accomplish with this? The commando mech's done. And that Vulcan mech is not going to last very long. The Vulcan mech, I'm playing it in like my off hours series. Absolutely love that Vulcan mech. But it's the least, one of the least armored level 1 medium mechs I've ever seen. Like, there we go. He's already done. Let's continue capturing this point. The base is now captured. So they're going to try and throw everything left that they have at me. Oh, no, wait. It looks like I got to finish clearing out any enemies that's left. And I mean, all they have left is tanks. So this shouldn't take too long. Looks like they've got their main source of mechs coming in to try and recapture this point. We got a couple tanks, which is absolutely nothing. I got a dropship literally right above me. What's he going to drop in? Surely he's going to drop in a couple mechs. Uh, we've got a dragon and an enforcer. Wow. That was really worth the wait, weren't it, boys? What are these guys going to do? You can't do nothing against me. You're a dragon mech. Come on now. Aim for his head. There we go. Now I'm starting to dish out some damage. Aim for his head again. There we go. Mech pilots KIA. Now all I got to deal with, do is deal with this enforcer who's just really starting to get on my nerves now. Just, just go away. You're not even worth the time. There we go. Another one down. All right. The mechs are down. Now all I got to deal with is the tanks. So... I'll quickly just deal with these little insects, and then we're going to head for the evac point and see if we can't salvage any sort of good mechs from this. Okay, that was a nice and easy mission to do. 1.8 million, 600 reputation. I'm so close to that level 10 expert reputation. Let's continue to see what we've got here. We can pick up quite a few mechs. We'll take the Dragon, the Phoenix Hawk. Uh, we'll take the Centaurian. Oh, don't have enough for the Centaurian. Uh, we'll take the absolutely decimated rifleman. Why not? And is there a good leveled up weapon that we can take? Take the LRM-5, and we've got two more points to use. We'll take an LRM-10. There we go. None of my necks really damaged. We picked up quite a bit of money in that mission, and we picked up some more reputation with the free Russell Hog Republic. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Uh... I'm not exactly sure how much else I can really do with this series. I think I'm either going to do two or three more episodes to get to 15, or I might just go until we hit reputation level 10, which will probably be next episode, and then I'm going to end it. We've pretty much done everything there is to do. We've got the biggest and baddest mechs. We're pretty much unstoppable at this point, so... At this rate, it's just going to be more and more of what you guys are going to see on the daily. And I don't really want to do that because I'm going to get sick of doing it. So uh, there is a new game coming out in a couple days that I'm going to represent on the channel and everything like that. Uh, which I think will be a lot of fun. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. Um, 
I shouldn't do the uh, the finale now. We're going to do that as soon as we hit reputation level 10, I've decided that. And we're going to move on to bigger and better things. But anyways, in the meantime, guys, y'all know what to do. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Make sure you subscribe. It helps me a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of MechWarrior 5. Thanks so much, and goodbye.